Hey guys, welcome back to the Node.js series. This is part eight. In part seven, we looked at how external modules work. Now it's time to look at one of the most important ship modules, uh, which is FS module. Now, if you if you ever gonna build any Node.js application, you are going to use uh, an FS module, which allows you to do a lot of file manipulation, a lot of IO. It will allow you to do read, write, update, delete, rename files uh, in the file system. So we're going to look at how to do that asynchronously and asynchronously. And if you're not following this series, uh, please do so. I'll provide a link to the playlist here so you can watch the entire series from the beginning. And welcome to Texted Tutorials. All right, so let's get to the coding. We have lots of operations to go through. We need to read file, uh, write file, delete file. So. I think as a human nature, the first thing comes to our mind is destruction. So, so I'm going to delete the file first before uh, I can read and write. So let's create a file to delete. So I'm just going to say a file to be deleted.txt. And inside, I'm just going to have some text because this is a text file. Okay, we don't really care what's inside because we're going to delete it. Now from the app.js, which is our main file, here we need to import the uh, fs module because it will help us uh, delete this file. So I'm going to say const fs equal to uh, require and fs. So there are two ways we can delete this file. One is synchronously and second way is asynchronously. And you need to figure out which one works best for you. Now let's use synchronously first and see what really happens. So synchronously, which means it will block, it, will, it won't do anything else after this line. So let's say if there is a delete functionality, uh, then let's say if I'm console log do next step after my spelling is really horrible, uh, <laughs> delete, then this, if I do synchronously, then it would finish this first and then delete this file. And if I do asynchronously, then it would run this first. So for writing synchronous, we can write something like this, fs uh, unlink uh, sync. As you can see, it says sync, which means it synchronously deletes a file. And the file name is to be deleted.txt, right? Node app. The funny thing is it deletes it. As you can see, the file is gone. Uh, however, uh, because if I say here, it says deleted from the disk, which is great. But since there is no way to actually tell me, there is no need, there is no way to find out if this file is deleted or, or not, right? So I need some way of confirming. And since, since it's asynchronous, if it was a synchronous operation, then there will be a callback function which will let me know that this file is deleted, right? But here you can't do that, so I have to use a try catch method. So I'm gonna put this inside the try. I can have a catch block where if there is an error, for example, then it would catch it. And I can say console log e and once everything is done i can have a finally block finally would run uh, regardless of whether it's uh, successful or uh, finally would run after everything right so i would just say console.log uh, done sync delete okay all right, so now, as we know, we don't need to have this file to be deleted. So let's run it to see what really happens. Okay, so now it's it's giving me an error saying that a binding done because it cannot find the file. So we need to create a file because it doesn't move after uh, this. So I don't see this console log. So let's create that file again. All right, now I'm going to run this again. And this time it says done, sync, delete, and do next step after delete. So we know that it's running synchronously because it deletes first before 
uh, get, uh, running this console log. Now, let's use sync delete and see how it works. Obviously, we need still a file system. So we would say fs dot unlink. So instead of unlink sync, we are going to call it unlink. I'm going to say uh, to be deleted dot txt. Now, because it's sync, it has to uh, have a callback function. And the, the callback function, uh, make sure if there's an error, then it will pass it. And we can say if, if there's an error, then we want to console log error. Else, we want to say console log done async. So let's try this. Obviously, we need to create this file. But let's not create it. I want to I see what happens. So this time, when I run this, uh, because there is no file uh, to, de to be deleted, here, even though, uh, so you can see it, it doesn't give this error first. It actually runs this first. In the previous case, uh, when the error was there, uh, this was not running. But now it says, do the next step do the next step after delete and then it gives me the error okay so this is very important to notice that because it's synchronous it does um, it runs the things that it can run before the things at, that it takes time clear this and run that again okay again the same thing this console log shows up first and then done sync shows up all right, so next thing we're going to look at is the read operation. So for that, we have to create a file. I'm just going to say read.js. I'm going to keep it as a JS file. And I'm going to say const fs equal to and fs. I'm going to say console log. So instead of text file, I'm just going to create a JS file to read. OK, again, there are two ways to do it, uh, synchronously and asynchronously. So first, we're going to look at synchronous reading. So we're going to look at fs, the file system, and then read file sync function, which is very simple. You would provide the, the name of the file, which is uh, read.js, and it would uh, return the content of the file. So let's call it content. And now we can console log content okay let's run this so node app and it reads but it reads a buffer so what is a buffer so node has a buffer class which provide you raw data so this is a raw data which is not very useful for me so I need to actually convert it into readable data and in order to do that I have to provide another argument here. So next to here, I have to provide encoding. So I can say encoding, and here the appropriate encoding would be uh, UTF-8. So it will give me readable text, okay? So let's run this again, and it gives me uh, the text, okay? Now obviously this is it reads the JavaScript file, it doesn't execute it, right? Because it's just reading the content of the file, it's not gonna exe execute it. Now you can similarly provide, you know, try cache block here, and uh, you can have anything that you run after that would run after uh, the this line has run, because as I said, it's synchronous, so it, it, it waits, it has to finish first before the next line executes. Okay, so let's do synchronous file read. And for that, we will have read file function. So instead of read file sync, we have read file function. And it's similar. So I will have read.js. And again, because it's, a, it's asynchronous, it has to have a callback. But before you have a callback, you have to still provide the, the UTF, the, the encoding which you're going to provide uh, directly here uh, as a second argument. And the third argument would be the error and data. Okay. And I can say if, uh, if there is an error, 
that I want to console log uh, error. Else, I want to console log data. All right, and if I console log something after this, then this should run first, the after, because it's asynchronous operation. Okay, so let's clear this and run it. All right, so as I can see, after is running first, and then the content of the read.js file is presented. Now, similarly, you can write to this file. And what I'm going to do here uh, is I'm not going to go through async because it's the same same way of doing it. So we're just going to do uh, async uh, write, so, uh, which is uh, write file. And you have to provide a file name where you're writing. Then you need to provide the data. Uh, so here I'm going to say something like uh, console log uh, high. And then I have to provide a function because this is a write operation. There is no data. So here I can say finished uh, writing. Okay, so let's do that. And I'm gonna do node app. And it's again because it's a sync async version, it it does after first and then this finished writing. And if I look at the read.js, it actually overwrites the entire content. And uh, that is because um, when you say write, it actually overwrites the file. Okay, uh, which may not be the thing that I want. Okay, so um, I can change this to a pen file. And the way a pen file works is it would append the text uh, add to the end of it, right? End of the file. So now I already have a console a log high. So it should add another console log high because I'm appending it, right? So let's look at it. It adds it here. Obviously, it doesn't create a new line, but if I just keep executing it, it will just keep adding more and more. Okay, so this is how the append works. All right, I think that's all, folks. Uh, I think you can figure out how to re rename a file by yourself. That would be uh, a homework. Consider that as a homework. It's pretty simple. All of this, you can, you can look through its API and do it. Again, the, the theme here is practice. If you want to learn Node, you have to practice a lot, uh, a lot. I mean, if you want to learn anything, you have to practice a lot. And again, if you're not following the entire series, I would suggest you do so. Uh, I provide a link uh, in the corner. So in the next video, we're going to look at how to get a user input from the command line. And I hope you learned something new from this video. And if you did, please like. And don't forget to like. Like, subscribe, and provide a nice comment. And you can also translate this video for me. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, I'll provide uh, uh, information in the description. Thank you.